Hello again everyone, Saka here and welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 and thank you so much for the support on episode 1. Looks like a lot of people are interested to see exactly what Honduras can do and same as me. So, uh, we were doing construction effort 2. Uh, that would give us another civilian factory because uh, right now our production is uh, okay. We're making a surplus. There's our concentrated industry research done, outstanding. Uh, so 1937, we're a little bit ahead of time there, but construction speed and factory repair speed probably won't be too awful bad. We'll research that for a bit. And then once we're done with mechanical computing, uh, we should be lined up, ready to go uh, for some support equipment. Uh, one thing that I want to try to do is to get another military factory built, uh, and that way we can, you know, build actual support equipment. However, it looks like it's going to take uh, two years to get done uh, at current speed. Of course, once our next uh, civilian factory comes up, we can dedicate some more time uh, to doing such things as these, and the next round of political decisions, we might go armament. That way we get another military factory ready to go, and then we can uh, focus on getting some support equipment in here. Now, in order to do that, we also need some army experience. And we've got two from basic training. Uh, so the next political power decision that I want to make is a military high command where we get some... Or, nope, okay. Political advisor? Where is you? War industrialist? No. Tank designer? Armor reliability. We're not going to be building any tanks. Chief of the army. So drill tra division training time. Now where in the gravy was that guy that actually added some military experience? Where are you? That's the army experience game. There we go. So Juan B. Valadares is going to be hired. Uh, so we can slowly accumulate more army experience and uh, be able to add some support companies. Another thing that we are uh, looking at is uh, recruitment. So 80% of the way uh, train, they have everything they need, but that is it. We only have 1,000 more men uh, ready to go. So um, not enough to fill up a full division. Now one thing uh, I'll do is when I add a support company, I'll see how much manpower that adds. Uh, to these um, already current divisions and see if that 1,000 is enough. If, it, if they only need like, you know, 500 people or maybe even 100 people, then we can definitely do it. Um, but it's just, uh, you know, slow going for now while our factories are being built. Yeah, it would certainly be nice to get that next civilian factory. We're 10 days away from that. And I think then what we'll do is work on a military factory. To, uh, to sort of prep for um, to prep for the um, the support equipment. Now one thing that I don't want to do is get a military factory and then um, assign it to the weapons and then take it off because I think it would lose the production efficiency. Not sure, but I don't want to do anything to mess up our uh, production efficiency uh, so hopefully yeah we're 39 days away from researching mechanical computing which then we can shift into the support equipment and then once we have support equipment researched in 70 days then our free military factory will go into full swing doing that all right, construction effort done. Okay, leadership purges. All right, so uh, Stalin had all of his generals killed. Sounds good. All right, construction effort is done. Okay, so that is 70 days, and that's another 70 days. Do we do another civilian factory in the 70 days? No. We want our military factory ready to go for when we start. Our research so we're just going to be maybe a month behind just 30 days we'll have our military factory 
Hey, unassigned divisions. All right, so here's what you will do. We're going to make you a new army. And then we are going to move you up here. And then we are going to basic train you. As soon as they move in. That will give us some more army experience as well. And then once they're all trained up, I will move these three under the field marshal that doesn't exist. Under, uh, what name do we want? Jose? Sure. All right. Go on in there. Into the jungle. All right. Get your jungle exercise on. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. So they'll be training up. Next modified government is ready. And we want a military theorist for our army and land doctrine research speed. All right. Now we are going to slowly start accumulating some more experience. And we're actually getting almost double the army experience from these guys doing basic uh, than our uh, man in charge, Juan. But that's fine. We'll have enough to modify these divisions, I think, by the time the support weapons are ready to go. And we may even have extra to assign uh, some generals. Uh, find, some, uh, find some recruits in this piece. Tell ya. All right, so keep on, keep on keeping on. Yeah, we have 230 extra infantry equipment in storage. So if these guys do break stuff, uh, we'll be able to keep them uh, ready to go. And we have no manpower. That is good. Olympics are done. Don't know if we sent anybody or not. Uh, why for our manpower zero? You know, I thought when we uh, deployed that the men already here were not counted in the manpower pool. Yeah, one thing about it, um, I don't believe we can adjust our uh, our conscription laws anytime soon. Yeah, for limited uh, conscription, we need 10% war support. For extensive, we need... Uh, Fascist or communist. Service by requirement. Yeah. So the only one we can do when we are at war is all adults serve. I mean, that's a huge kick. But yeah, we can't even go uh, limited conscription until we get some war support. So is that a decision that we can make to put in some war support? So the promises of peace... Lowers war support. Anti-communist raids. Raises stability. Same for anti-fascist raids. Yeah, um, war propaganda. So there is weekly war support, but there needs to be more than 50% world tension. So we're waiting on Germany. Hey, Germany. What you up to there, mustache? An unknown focus. All right, mechanical computing is done. Let's research some basic support equipment. Men, this is a first aid kit. If you are injured, apply bandage to wound. No. Dear God. Yeah, these guys don't know what a first aid kit is, so um, we'll, be, we'll be hooking them up sooner rather than later, I would say. Once construction is done, um, we'll be kind of close to 37 for production efficiency or more factory output we can also work on our next series of weapons um who support weapons infantry defense and breakthrough and that's free yeah that might be the next best thing to do we definitely want to focus on land that is what our bread and butter is all right so we are a regular i don't believe we can go higher than regular from uh, just basic training. And this guy is almost there as well to level 3. We will have three very high speed, low drag, well trained divisions uh, to fend off from El Salvador. Or San Salvador. No, El Salvador. El Salvador with the capital of San Salvador. Got it. They got six. What in the gravy? Two to ten. Yeah, I, I can see them. 
Well, crap, how do you have three to four thousand manpower? Fascism? Yeah, probably fascism. There, Maximiliano Hernandez Martinez Gomez Suarez. Tell you what. Yeah, we basically just need somebody to do something and then call us into the war and we'll try to contribute. I mean, in my last gameplay, uh, when we were in Iraq, we actually nuked Tokyo. So, um, yeah, it can be done with a, uh, with a country that is rebuilding. How's Nicaragua? So you are in the Liberty ethos and 15% democratic. So you might be a good neighbor. State Farm will be there. Guatemala? Yeah, you'll be, you'll be democratic before you know it. So yeah, surrounded, surround this uh, fascist nation on all sides. Sounds good. How many troops are you rocking? One to nine. Me too. Two to four. Me too. So we've got some brothers in arms around and I think Mexico, ooh, 18 to 20. Mexico might go fascist. How about the United States? I mean, just the 1% commie. Do you or anyone you know be a, be a member of the Communist Party? All right, almost done with basic training. We're 350 days away from capping our oil, which we don't have any cars. Uh, we don't know what planes and tanks and automobiles are, but sure enough, we'll have uh, plenty of oil. Yeah, we'd have to research all of that too. Uh, if we look at armor, I don't even think we would have enough manpower to, to create an armor division. Gentlemen, this is a tank. It uses tracks to move. No. All right. Italy took one state. Ethiopia was annexed. That is not really um, no world tension. No one cares that Ethiopia just went bamp. All right. So that is fine. Are you guys done training? Almost. All right. You guys are done basic training. That is good. Move you into there. And the armament effort is done. Outstanding. No national focus. Uh, so we have one military factory. Um, do we continue with the civilian factory or do we go another military? Um, let's go civilian for now. Because we would have to research something to do. I don't know. Yeah, that really hurt our production production efficiency. We're still making 12 a day. It could go up. That's what I think uh, is going to happen. All right. So we don't need to import any steel right now. We have a surplus of 800 infantry equipment. Uh, what we really need to do is get that support equipment researched and then start a line of support equipment. And then if need be, uh, in, import the things that we need. All right, so we have enough army experience to get a general, or do we want to modify our template? I think we do. Let's edit our brigade. No, we don't want to do that until we know what infantry equipment or uh, support equipment is. How much is a general? Oh, all right. Hello, Lorenzo Martinez, a one, 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 one. Promote for 30 command power. Well, it took it. Okay, good, 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 okay. Next government step, what do we want to do? We don't need a tank designer. Uh, war industrious, military factory construction speed increase with a fuel silo and dockyard construction. That wouldn't be bad. We're not doing air bases and naval bases. We don't need communism or democracy or political power. Our second one should be political power for now. Let's do military construction speed. Is that retroactive? No, no, don't, don't, no. Give, give me my manpower back. So that's what I did. I had um, extra divisions training. That's what it was. Got it. So how about our construction? 37. I think we knocked uh, a year off and there's construction one. 
So that is going to be construction speed even higher. So we are two months or so away from 37. I think it is time to make sure our infantry is okay. So we'll do support weapons one. And then on the next, we will start researching the next level of infantry equipment. Try to get their weapons uh, good to go. By then we should have a few military factories to dedicate to the cause. Yeah, we have excess 1,400 extra weapons. That is what I like to see. Can we upgrade a field commander? I don't think we have the political power to do it. And since we are almost done researching the uh, researching the support equipment, I want to, to keep our army experience for changing that. Adding some support equipment, getting a line up. That is what I am going to do. Six days away, just a week, and you all will know what a first aid kit is. Outstanding. And still 316 days away till we refill on fuel. So these guys are pretty well dug in. I don't like this brigade of five. If we were defending here in the plains... Ooh. See, that doesn't look like plains to me. That looks like hills. Ooh, mountains. And then jungle. That is rough, man. Plains, mountains, jungles. All right, so we should have enough army experience now to do... There we go. Support equipment done. Now... Yeah, I don't want to do motorized. I don't want to do recon. I think we need to get weapons one ready to go. And then for the time being, let's get a production line going. All right, so we want a new production line of support equipment. So we make 4.29 a month and we need aluminum and steel or aluminum. No, it's aluminum. There is no neum, it's aluminum. All right, get on that. Production efficiency will slowly start to go up, and this will be our factory uh, for making infantry equipment. So we're going to start stockpiling. 1.1 a week. And now what we need to do is get a template going of our support equipment. Edit this. So I guess we do need a support... A brigade, a support brigade to research next time. Fine. So once we get our support weapons one done, then we can look at support equipment. And I think our engineering company is going to be pretty good. So we'll attach some engineers because we don't need military police and I don't think we need maintenance. A field hospital would be nice, but we need to research motorized because they would need motorized and we don't have the factories to even make the vehicles. All right, so if that is the case, let's get a field marshal up in here, a new commander. All right. Uh, okay, so you will be field marshal. And then Marcellano, a 1212, is now leading those divisions. All right. Sounds good. So now Lorenzo is our field marshal, and we have uh, Mar our Marcelino as our army general. Yeah, and then by the time that that happens, we will have plenty of army experience to, uh, to shift things around. All right, Jeremy, what you up to? Everything looks the same. Unknown focus. Hey, UK. Stanley Baldwin. Next selection is in three years. Coerce Greece. Okay, that sounds interesting. Yeah, who's leading the old Spanish Civil War? So it looks like Nationalist is making a northern push. Republican Spain is going to be um, hard-pressed. So it looks like Spain will go fascist. 
Hey, France, protect the rights of man. Pierre Laval, sounds good. Yeah, we've got five support equipment in the storehouse. We've got five first aid kits. But yeah, that is, uh, that's going to go up whenever our production starts really ramping up. How many civilian factories do we have? So we're building that one factory. We've got two used factories building this military factory. And we were getting another civilian factory up. Okay, so when this civilian factory is done, I think what we will do is dedicate... Well, really, there's no rush, is there? Not until we research a um, something to do with the support equipment. So no real rush then to import. It's just the speed of the build. All right, so four out of 10 infrastructure there. We're building military factory there. All right, so slow going, that is for sure. It's almost 1937. What is Japan doing? Japan is in Korea. They have an unknown focus. They have addition, expeditionary forces from Mengkuko. The integrated puppet. All right, is Germany technically at war? No, Germany is improving with Sweden. And Sweden is democratic. Interesting. Well, Mr. Mustache, um, you, keep, you keep being you then. All right, infrastructure effort is done. United Kingdom exerts influence on the Kingdom of Greece. And there is our infrastructure effort done. Uh, let's go with our, let's see, two additional building slots, two factories or infrastructure. I think two extra civilian factories are going to allow us to continue to build factories very quickly. And then the more factories we can build quickly, the uh, the more equipment we can send out. Yeah, it will certainly be nice to get those uh, infantry weapons researched. This is just passive. That will improve our infantry defense and breakthrough. And then in 47 days, we'll be swapping the line over. And we will finally be giving them weapons fit to be in 1936. And then we'll need... Yeah, doing Marines and Mountain Division. I don't know if to swap to Mountain Division or keep them straight infantry. Not exactly sure. Alright, so these guys aren't losing experience. That's good. Everyone who was uh, brought on to be in the army is, uh, <laughs> is still here. No one fell out. That's good. Yeah, the manpower is going to be a big struggle. We're sort of going to be uh, trying to punch above our weight here. I don't know. Can we make... So that's a repair. So we don't have a dockyard. But we have a naval base. We have a level one naval base. Would we have to improve that? Not sure. All right, modified government is ready. Next political advisor. Um, air base, ideology, political power gain. So let's keep building that political power up. And then we can look at a chief of staff Army morale probably wouldn't be bad. Division training time, you know, if we got a big boost of manpower and we need a lot of divisions in the field quick, fast, and in a hurry, then all Jose wouldn't be too bad. Uh, let's see, cavalry, naval air, air superiority, not going to happen. Bad weather penalty and air superiority, wouldn't be bad if we knew what a plane was. Same as raiding. Wouldn't be bad if we knew what a boat was. So we'll do our one last political advisor. And do the... Man. 
I mean, we don't have any non-core manpower. Yeah, so... Chief of the Army is next. Recovery rate? Hmm. I think that would be more beneficial. If we get routed, we're going to need them to recover quick. And the, the ability to recover quicker, I think, is more important than the ability to get out divisions from basic training. Just sort of thinking about it in the long term. But we've got 24 units of support equipment in the bank. That is outstanding. All right, three days away from more support weapons. And since we are in 37, we might be looking at more research speed. Maybe even a new research slot in our, uh, in our tree. We'll have to see. All right, support weapons, let's go. Support weapons one, done. Research. Engineering. Radio. All right, get that radio up. In 15 days, we'll be swapping over to 1936 infantry equipment. It will be a very good day to uh, upgrade these guys with some rifles that aren't from World War I. And then we'll call it an episode. Yeah, slowly but surely making our way. Da -na 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 -na. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Once we get our research speed up and we can, you know, research a, uh, maybe the engineers after this infantry equipment, we can finally put our stockpile of support equipment to good use. I don't know how much support equipment we're going to need for three divisions, uh, but we're just going to have to cross that bridge when we get there. All right, one week, and we're going to know what good, 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 good guns are. Good, great guns. Yeah, no one has parked up any airplanes. Yeah, no airplanes in reserve. That's no joke. All right, waiting on you there. All right, four days. Let's get this line ready to move. Right now we're making 12 rifles a day. Basic rifles of from 1918. Hopefully we can not lose a whole lot of production efficiency when we swap. And we'll be able to reinforce them fairly well. There we go. Infantry equipment one done. I believe now is the time for an engineering company. All right, so they need 300 manpower per pop and... Where is there? I don't see support equipment, so that is fine. Outdated equipment, let us. Infantry equipment one. All right, so we're down to three rifles a day. But that will uh, increase, and slowly but surely, we'll be getting our upgrades to our fine soldiers. All right, so February 1937, we have our third division. We have some leaders. We have some new faces in government. We have some research done, and we're actually making some decent rifles now. We've got 35 support equipment in the bank, 2.6 thousand in reserve, but that's all equipment. Looking at our upgrades, uh, we're going to need 1,200 1,200 indeed. I want to be sure to have enough support equipment, but once our next military factory is done, we can put a uh, second line up, which should be fine. When is that done? August of, next, of this year. So we will be getting a next military factory on top of the fact that we are doing construction effort to get two more civilian factories. Uh, then we'll work our way down the military factory there and there. Working our way up, but thank you so much for tuning in. That will do it for me. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next Hearts of Iron 4 video. Take care.